Hey everyone, Greg from My Mortgage. Just wanted to talk today about consolidating debt into your home loan. So uh, for those of you who own a home, uh, and if you have equity and you're able to service it, you can consolidate existing debt into your home loan. Things like car loans, uh, personal loans, credit cards, maybe money that family have loaned to you, things like that. And so you can uh, use the equity that you have in your home and you can borrow that money uh, at home loan rates and then repay that other debt. There's pros and cons to doing this. So a few things to consider. Uh, as I mentioned before, you have to have the equity to be able to do that. And most of the time, you'll need at least 20% equity after you've got the money to do the debt consolidation. So say, for example, you had a house that was worth $500,000 and your home loan at that stage was $380,000. Uh, then you have $20,000 of usable equity that we could borrow to repay uh, some debts to consolidate that debt. If you're at exactly 20% or even over, so maybe you brought with a smaller deposit, uh, the banks won't consolidate debt at that level. Uh, so you need to make sure you've got at least 20% after those funds have been um, have been brought down to consolidate that debt. Also, uh, you need to make sure you can service that debt. So. Um, what we can do is say, hey, look, at the moment they're spending X amount a week on this loan and maybe X amount of de uh, income this uh, a week on this credit card. Once we have got rid of that, then we'll have this much more uh, income to be able to service our home loan. So we can use that from the end result. So that's good because normally the repayments are much higher on those other debts than they are on a home loan. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, so if you can service the debt, you need to be able to service the entire amount of your new home loan. So in that example I used before, if it was 380 and we were borrowing 20,000, you need to be able to service the 400,000, uh, then we can uh, access that as well. One of the pros, obviously, it's really good from a cash flow point of view. So as I mentioned before, those shorter term debts, those existing debts that you have, uh, they are generally over a shorter term. So they might be three, four or five years and they're at a higher interest rate than your home lending. So they might be at 10, 12 uh, and some credit cards at 20, uh, 21 percent. So really good idea from a cash flow point of view. The key thing to consider though is uh, for a home loan, it's actually out over a much longer term. So generally 30 years, uh, maybe it could be done over 25 or 20. So you just need to be really careful that we're not consolidating that debt, but then over the lifetime of it, actually paying a lot more. So what we always recommend is uh, consolidate it. It makes total sense to do it at a lower interest rate, but then try and pay it off quicker than you would have been able to pay it off if you'd kept it where it was. So if your uh, car loan, for example, was over three years uh, when we consolidate it, keep those repayments, so the 200 a week or a fortnight that you've been paying, uh, put that straight into your home loan and repay that as quickly as you can, uh, rather than just taking it as an opportunity uh, to extend that way out and in the end paying a lot more over the term of your home loan. So there's a few things to consider when you're looking at consolidating debt. If you've got some debt to consolidate and you've got a house uh, that we can use as equity to do that, then feel free to touch base. More than happy to help out and get that sorted for you.